Today we are doing something new on this channel and we are unboxing and swatching our, the new palette I received, the Paul Rubens paints. And these are the metallic pearlescent paints, um, iridescence that go on black paper as well as white. And as you can see, it's wrapped in this beautiful pink chamois. Now all the literature in this set is in Mandarin and it was difficult obviously for me to read. I couldn't read it, but they do have the numbers available for you if you are looking for a certain color that do, you do not have in this kit that you want to add to it or purchase another kit. I will put a link below so that you can um, look on Amazon for this kit. Now this white paper that's in here, I just briefly went through it, didn't know what I was looking at, but apparently on the back side of this paper is the place to swatch your colors with the numbers and the names of each of the paints. Okay, but I didn't see that till after. So we're not using that for this video, but you can see I pulled out the paints in the middle and in the metal box, there were three areas that you can mix your colors in. So I am a beginner when it comes to unwrapping these little pans that come in. Usually the paints I have bought are student quality and not this artistic quality of paints. So I um, am fumbling through this a little bit, but it, this is a video for beginners, so fumble along with me. I do realize that on each of these wrappers has the name and the number of each of the paints, but um, I re had to remove it and then I decided to go back and put the portion where it had the number on it back on the little pan itself. So I'm just going to continue to unwrap them all and we'll do this speedy fast and we will come back and I will show you what I did for a little palette swatch. So I just took a piece of watercolor paper, the paper that I normally use, the mixed media paper, and I made lines for it. And what I was going to do was place the wrappers on it too. The paper here. So I had the remainder part portion of the wrapper with the color on um, each area that I'm going to swap. So I want you to know if you receive this as a new palette, it does have a place for you to swatch each of these colors with the numbers and the name of each color um, so that you don't have to make a separate sheet of paper like I did here. Or if it doesn't come in your kit, um, as it should, then you can do something similar to what I have done here in this video. I will be going back and I will be doing this a different way. I will be using that swat uh, paper that came with it to swatch and I will also be attaching my black paper to each of the areas. So if that's something you want to see in the future then let me know. Other than that you will see both um, the swatches on the black paper as well as the white paper and how the pearlescent and iridescent colors look on both papers. And I was very surprised that some of the colors looked totally different on the black paper than they did on the white paper. And you will see this as we begin to swatch. So look on the back of this um, metal container and you will see there is a place to put your thumb in when you are on location so that you can carry your palette with you. I believe most all of them have that, but um, it's very handy to have if you're taking it on location. So let's begin our swatching and with number C100, this is the pearl silver white and you will see it on the white paper as long as the black um, what I will show you on the black as it comes up I didn't realize it wasn't on camera but you'll see the next one is the flashing pearl and I like these colors you can't really even see this on the white paper but when it comes to the black paper you will see um, how it shines right there you can see both of them that I have together now um, they will come up different 
This next color is called Flash Blue, and it's beautiful. It's just beautiful on the black paper, I think. Definitely, this is the palette that I would be using for that. Next, we have the Pearl Platinum. And they don't really look, you know, like the pan color itself, which I was surprised. Some of them do, some of them don't. The next one we have is Flash Yellow, and that one really looks yellow. And the next one is, which surprised me, is called Apricot. And then we have Deep Interference Yellow. And then the next one will be Deep Interference Orange. And you can see um, just how different they look on the white paper versus the black. They're very, they're very vibrant on the black paper. So this is definitely the palette of choice when I'm going to be using the black paper. Next, that one is Symphony Yellow, and we go on to the Green Green Gold which I was a little surprised because, of course, if you look at the pan, it doesn't look anything like green to me. And it come, it's called Green Green Gold, but it comes up gold. The next we have Royal Gold, which is really pretty. I love the golds. And then we have a Bronze Satin, and that's really pretty. So I do like these colors. The paints are easy to work with. In the second row, we start off with bronze. That's C500. It's a really pretty color. We go on to the flare red, it's called. And then the deep interference red. So the flare red didn't look even that to me at all, but okay. The next one is wine red. And then real brown. And let's see, wine red satin. And then we go off to, this is the network purple that I'm doing. And the first one, then purple, then purple satin, which they look pink on the palette to me, but they're purple. And then the next one is the color red, which looks pink, and then pink. And then the last one is rose red. So you can see what they look like when they dry. The third row, I'm just gonna give you the colors as we go. The first one I did in the third row was the Crepe Myrtle, then the Symphony Purple. The second, the third one was Copper, which looks purple. And the fourth one was Symphony Blue. The fifth one was Deep Interference Blue. Sixth one was Flash Blue. Then we go on to gold blue, that's a gold blue. Then a shiny blue, a deep interference green, a flash green, what's this one? We have, let's see, a fruit green that was, and then the last one here is a gold green. So it's gonna take me some time getting used to these colors for sure. On the last row, we start with golden maroon, which didn't look anything like maroon or golden to me. And then dark green comes next. Third one is brown green. Then we have a dark brown. I do like the browns in this. The next one is flashing copper and then brown. Then we have a silver gray, which is the first of the grays, then silver black, and again, silver black. There's two different silver blacks, and because one is uh, basically looks like an interference color and one's like a flashing color, two blacks. Then the third to the last is flash purple, which I just did, and this one is pearl is golden. And the last one is called 
gem red, which really looks red on the black paper. So take a peek at these, and I know I went a little fast for you, but um, this is what they look like on both the white and on the black paper. So like I said, this was something new that I did here. Obviously it was fast, it's not the greatest for seasoned watercolor artists, but if you're a beginner like me, then you can, uh, I'm sure, follow along. Let's see what these paints look like, wet, dry, and how they look on the white paper, and then again, how they look on the black paper. So during next week's video, I'm going to be using these colors, this palette, specifically on white paper and black paper simultaneously together so you can see it. So make sure that you um, subscribe to the channel and come back. Next week is I'm going to give you a sample of a watercolor doodle on this paper. And if you like this, check this other video out and I'll see you again next week.